on some vintage track and accessories with Goodwill. Ah, you need these babies to race. I gotta get into this. Look at this huge bag. Who's with me? Let's dig in. See what we got. Who loves racing? This is another Johnny Roman toy car case event. This is race the case. If it's in the case, it's gonna race. We don't care what it is. To the finish line. Oh, look at this huge bag full of stuff we found at Goodwill. Oh, I'm telling you, I was looking at some newer track, and the connective pieces are so thin it won't even hold, you know, stick anything together. Just amazing. So I found this big, huge bag of stuff, and I saw the purple connectors which are the original connectors and some really cool accessories. And I think, let's see if the price tag is on here still. Here it is. Can I get to it? <laughs> $9.99. And it's got an instruction thing taped to it. It's just like this big wad of stuff taped together. Let me rearrange and get into this. It's so huge. Boy, oh boy, I cut open the part of this bag. I'm telling you, it was all taped together like no tomorrow. But look at these beautiful long pieces of track. And these connectors, I'm telling you, these are the original connectors. Purple, they're real sturdy, so it holds the track together on a long piece of uh, straightaway going down a hill. Look at this, someone chewed on that. Either that or it was used as a sword. We know we all use these as swords. So, again, this one's got a, a finish line marked on it. It is so cool to see how everyone customized their tracks and stuff, or cars. Oh, I'm gonna just yank out all this stuff. Look at this, there is tons and tons of track. You can never have enough track. Oh, the thing is, look at all this. I'll learn to count later. Okay kids, those who can count will learn how to count later. Oh, there's a lot of little black marks. Maybe that they taped it together or something. But all this vintage track amazing now there's some new track pieces thrown in too like this thing got a little like it I saw this on a video it's like a wall hanging set which is really cool if that sets in here that would be amazing we might have to set it up on the walls going around the studio here Pssh, that would be wild wouldn't it Oh, I don't know if it would work or not, but hey, anything will work if you got a mind and some imagination. Oh, look at these. Now these are all bent up and some are curved. Look. <laughs> so those curved pieces, just lay them out straight. They'll eventually flatten out again. But the trick is those, just the long pieces, which is really cool to see. I have no idea what's in all this. There are so many exciting things. Here's a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's kind of a reddish orange. And I'm hoping, oh, look at this. Here's an, an original clamp that matches the color. So cool, Mattel, Hot Wheels, got their logo. There's your code number. 6200-066 Oh, there's the date. Come on. 1967. 
Oh, <laughs> some of you little kiddos weren't even born. All right, look at this. Shisnaily, what do you think? Did I say it right? Shisnaily. Oh, what a wild, wild set those guys are. Oh, look at this big crane thing. <laughs> Opens up, picks up a car. It's got Hot Wheels on it. Look at this. <laughs> I'll be setting this up <laughs> so you can see. Oh, look at this. Totally catching the car as it jumps <laughs> and then flips it out here. Oh, there's so many cool things. Look at this. More, more vintage track. Oh. Now this track, look at this, here's a vintage curve, loop-de-loop -loop, I mean. I remember this from back in the day. Looking for some sort of, here's your code number on the bottom, 6201, made in USA. There's some more numbers, 031. No date on it, oh. but still that is vintage old, <coughs> but this is what I was looking at. This is what made me buy all this stuff. Look at these curved pieces. This is a hard plastic. Look at that. And it makes the tightest curve loop that you can imagine. I'll widen out in a little bit once I could get through all this stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff, it's just amazing. Here's another curve. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Those are about 18 inches long. And another curve. Got a sticker on it. P32 Police Hot Wheels logo on here and then look how big this curve is now this one has a bracket on it I noticed the other ones busted too bad so sad but anything busted can probably get fixed right here's a jump look at that that is amazing. Another little loop piece. Here's a connector piece. Again, this old vintage stuff. I've got a couple other pieces in the collection that might match up to that. Here's another catcher thing. And here's a vintage tab in a new piece. Oh, someone got tired of playing with their cars. Which is okay, but pass it along to someone you like or someone that loves cars. Look at this, someone took a bite out of that one. Holy smokes. That is crazy. Another jump, another connector piece to make that curve a little wider. You never know what you're gonna need. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is definitely part of a cool set. You got a ramp, you can go one way or the other. And I'm hoping that instruction sheet. Now this is the length of the Hot Wheel tracks now. They're just super shorty. And I'll show you that again once we get through all the pieces and parts in this. Oh, there's so many pieces, it's all falling out. Let me see if we can jump out here and see if we got anything good. Even good. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, look at this. More of these tabs, which is great. Pieces. Here's another vintage piece with a new uh, screw rod in it. Oh, this, this is a heavy battery operated something or other. It's super heavy. Hot Wheels. Got an engine, so it's shooting something out there. And look, it, it connects to the wall somehow. 
That's what I'm guessing. That is cool. That is cool. Look at this. Some sort of crane. It's wild. Another Hot Wheels. Kind of loose piece. Oh, it's another one of these. So maybe this is like a set of things. Now here is the new tab that goes with these new sets. Look at tiny, but it is sturdy, so that's good. And here are some more tabs. And then this thing. You got track that goes on there. Busted. Oh, so that's where this went. And they switched it from a vintage. Too bad we don't have the screws for the vintage, but again, Pick up the pieces and parts because you'll never know, ever, ever know when you're going to find something again. So this fits in here. Again, some super glue, some time, some clamps. That should go together just fine. Ah, and one car body. <laughs> it's kind of a light plasticky. I have no idea what it came off of. So let's look into these instructions that got taped on here. It's the triple stunt set starter set. Trick tracks, hot wheel. And here's the contents. We got the crane. I don't know if we got that piece. I'm looking. Some short pieces. We've got that. We've got that. Oh, here's the car. We got the top of the car. Oh, it looks like we got most of it. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a poster that goes on the wall. Oh, let me rearrange. I'll be right back. So in this bag, here's all what we got. It is crazy fun. We got 40 pieces of vintage track. Now it's all dirtied up and stuff, but I think that might clean out. Some's a little bent. We got 18 vintage clips. We got two hairpin curves with these two extender pieces or you can do it tight like this actually there's four of these uh, and then you've got this vintage stunt set which is a riot and I hope this all sets up right I'll be trying it out for the first time look at this now the blue thing as you know is a trigger so you've got everything on rubber brands and springs, rubber brands, <laughs> and they loop the loop around so a car comes sailing in from another track. And the cool thing about it is this can be at a right angle. So it can come in at a right angle, trigger this, and shoot off for the next stunt. Oh, same thing down here. You've got a right angle, shoot in. Then that triggers this spring, which shoots this car to the next spring, which shoots this up to activate this crane. Now you've got to carefully set this little tab in that crane so that it will hold the car tight in its place. And once you do, this crane will come up, drop it on this spring, which will shoot pegs up these kind of yellow pegs will shoot up and knock these cars out of sight and there's a little ridge for the back tire to fit in so you put all these cars in place 
those pins, and then this thing shoots up and shoots this last car off the jump, off into Bo and Luke territory. Oh, oh, oh. look at this. This thing is great. I can't even back up so far to get it all in in one shot. Then it comes with this, this wall hanging type of stunt set and this big huge poster. Ah, uh, remember when your grandma and grandpa were kids, they had posters all the time. Okay, grandma and grandpas, old guys, remember all the posters? You go to the head shop and get the coolest posters, the black light posters? Oh, crazy. So, what do you say? Let's say we try and shoot this thing off. Okay, I'm just gonna flip this up and see what happens. Oh, the car spun out. Not enough oomph. Let's see what happens with this. This is gonna shoot to this, to that. Now this triggers it. Oh, here goes the crane up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This car just shot to the end. It's like a stop action. But all the other cars scattered. Let's do it again. I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set up, ready to go. I'm telling you, some of these play sets, if you take the time to build them up, I've got that little last clasped. The clasp clasped. Ready? I'm gonna just trigger it with my finger. Here it goes. Ah, oh, is that a ride or what? And again, he stops right for the photo. <laughs> oh, oh, that is a ride. I'm digging that. I'm telling you kids, these play sets are a ride if you set them up. Oh, you get some good Hot Wheel cars or racing, that'd be awesome. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> oh, it's a really quick setup to get it all back in place. Very cool. Got all our cars lined up just perfectly. Got our yellow emergency truck. Uh, don't see yellow a lot. Always red. Here we go. Up with the crane. And it's. Oh! <laughs> what a riot! And the car. Oh, this Firebird. Or, oh, Superbird. Firebird. <laughs> this Superbird isn't going up the ramp today. But it scattered all these other cars. Now, here's another thing. This thing is like a motor shooter thing, which is really totally cool. Look at this. It's got like this soft rubber band projector thing in this. It's real soft and squishy, so when the car is going through that, this thing's spinning, and it shoots it out like a squirrel cage fan. Oh, and that hangs on the side of the wall somehow. I'm I'm guessing you're drilling holes in the wall. Learn how to patch your walls, kids, so your mom and dad don't have to. This is a cool set. Ah, uh, spend the time to play with your kids and your grandkids. Get down on the floor. Ah, uh, show them and imaginate and create. And ah, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, you will have fun setting up all these jumps and crazy things. Are you saying to your parents, I'm bored, I got nothing to do? If you're bored, have nothing to do, be it summer, spring, fall, or winter, well, let me tell ya, there's more than just riding your skateboard. Everyone is bored to death. Look at all these people. Another place to go is Johnny Roman's Supper Club, where the excitement is fantastic. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event 
Oh, there's races and cars of all eras. Oh, visit the toy car case on YouTube. Become a subscriber so you don't miss out. Be a cool kid on the block. Tell all your friends. So don't let your days be boring and wasted away. Come to the supper club and pray. Everyone is crowded and heading towards the supper club. Join us. Subscribe now. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be. Because life starts after 316. Oh, I had to do it again. Ah, <laughs> so much fun. Come on. Get your track out. Get playing. Oh, enjoy the day. Okay, now on some of these they had markers on it. See that? And these things are filthy dirty. So I was gonna see if I could clean it up here. This is a little Bestine, which is like a, a light paint remover. Artists use it to uh, take blue off of stuff and get sticky things off. And sometimes with a little luck, you can get off that grind. Now it's coming off a little bit. Now I don't know how long it's soaked down there, but sometimes when you find this vintage stuff and old that's all damaged and, and marked up, sometimes I let it sit a little bit. And oh, look at that. <laughs> Takes that black right off isn't that nice clean as a whistle that is sweet now the other thing is you Greeks you know about this stuff right <laughs> little spray of the Windex sometimes that or a oh yeah it's taking that grime right off so you're seeing how fast this track cleans up just with a little spray of window cleaner. It takes all that black scuffing off. See it all on there? Oh, look at this. So you pile a dirty old track can come, become, look, <laughs> nice and clean you might try a couple different solvents to get it working so to go through all these 40 pieces it might take half hour so no big deal do it in front of watching TV or something go turn on some of your favorite car shows and watch shows new piece of paper towel oh look at that that's not too bad there's a little scuff mark on there but not bad at all look compared to this piece the way it was take off the black mark all the scratch and skid marks see all those on there oh, and it's clean as can be there's a little overspray on this one, so simple squirty dirty, and the dirty is gone. Oh, that is nice. Hey, a clean track is a happy track. <laughs> oh, kids, clean your cars too. Help your dad wash your re his car. Help your mom wash her car, and you'll be happy. You'll know how to do it when you're older. They'll teach you. All those chores, they're teaching you how to live. Oh. Now again, that, we need a little heavier, so it's just a little squirt. I keep it in this can, which is really sweet. Makes it easy. This 
evaporates quick, so this is a quick release nozzle. Oh, and you're done. So let's see if this one comes off. Oh, nice. Coming right off. Again, how simple was that? Now the thing about these tracks, some of these tracks too, they were damaged really bad like someone chewed it up or the dog chewed on it or you know when you're whipping each other. Kids do not whip each other with the tracks, that is crazy. So like this piece, see that? It is just chewed up like no tomorrow. This cut super easy. You can cut it, just draw a straight line on it, and just cut off that bad part. Now granted, you will have a shorter piece of track, but that's okay. Look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you, these tracks are great. This one is actually, was cut shorter. See that? About six inches. And sometimes you needed to do that for your layout. Ah, oh, come on, what do you say? One more time! Yeah, baby, I love that thing! Hey, thanks for coming to Johnny Roman's Supper Club. <laughs> Where the great ones run, 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 run. Ah. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. Ah, cause chicks like guys too. Yeah. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.